Welcome to Grace Lutheran Church of Winchester as we celebrate the nativity of our Lord Jesus Christ. O holy child of Bethlehem, descend to us, we pray. Cast out our sin and enter in. Be born in us today. We hear the Christmas angels, the great glad tidings tell. O come to us, abide with us. Our Lord, Emmanuel. Amen. chapter 9 verse 2 through 7 the people who walked in darkness have seen a great light those who lived in the land of the deep darkness on the light has shined you have multiplied in the nation you have increased its joy they rejoice before you with the joy at the harvest as people exult when dividing plumber for the yoke of your burden and the bar crossed warrior with their shoulders the rod of their oppressor you have broken on the day of madhan for all the boots, the tramping warriors, and all the gear heads rolled in blood shall be burnt as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. The authority rests upon his shoulder, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prin Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continuously, and there shall be an endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish it and uphold it with justice and with righteousness for this time onwards forevermore. The, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. Word of God. Thanks be to God. Psalm 96. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord, bless the name of the Lord, proclaim God's salvation from day to day. Declare God's glory among the nations, and God's wonder among all people. For great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised, more to be feared than all gods. As for gods of all nations, they are but idols, but you, O Lord, have made the heavens. Majestically and magnificence are in your presence, power and splendor are in your sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, you families of the people, ascribe to the Lord honor and power. Ascribe to the Lord the honor due the holy name, bring offerings, and enter the courts of the Lord. Worship the Lord in the beauties of holiness. Tremble before the Lord all the earth. Tell it out among the nations, the Lord is king. Tell, the one who made the world so firm that it cannot be moved will judge the people peoples with equity. Let the heavens rejoice, and let earth be glad. Let the sea thunder. 
and all that is in it. Let the field be joyful, and all that is in terrain. Then shall all the trees of the wood shout for joy at your coming, O Lord, for you come to judge the earth. You will judge the word with righteousness and the peoples with your truth. Second reading, Titus chapter 2, verse 11 through 14. For the grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation to all, training us to renounce impetitively and worldly passions in the present of age, to live lives that are self-controlled, upright, godly, while we wait for the blessed hope and the manifestation of glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. He it is who gave himself so we can redeem us from all the inquantility and purify himself of his who are zealous for good deeds, word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. Should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged, 
and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told them. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, you, O Christ. We all know the story of the birth of Jesus as told by Luke. There is a power and enjoyment when we hear what we already know and believe. The record of Jesus' birth is straightforward. It is an earthly event. It opens with the decree of Augustus that his whole empire should be taxed. Everyone was directed to go to their ancestral home for enrollment. So Joseph and Mary went to Bethlehem. Luke weaves the old and the new together. The Bible tells us one story of the salvation of God. Behold, I bring you good news of great joy. For to you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. The news of the birth comes first to the poor shepherds. They went to the manger. They found the baby, a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. Jesus was born to be a Savior of the world. That was the first Christmas message. It was the Christmas message that is still today. That's what we all really need, a savior. We want to know forgiveness, salvation, and peace from God, a longing both universal and personal. It is ancient and yet still relevant today. Our whole world needs the Savior. I would like to read a poem by an unknown author told many times at Christmas by my own father. That night when in Judean skies the mystic star dispensed her light, a blind man moved amid his sleep and dreamed that he had sight. That night when shepherds heard the song of host angelic choiring near, a deaf man stirred in slumber spell and dreamed he could hear. 
That night when in the cattle stall slept child and mother cheek by jowl, a cripple turned his twisted limbs and dreamed that he was whole. That night when o'er the newborn babe the tender Mary rose to lean, a loathsome leper smiled in sleep and dreamed that he was clean. That night when in a manger lay the sanctified who came to save, a man moved in the sleep of death and dreamed there was no grave. Not only that night, but every night since his birth, people of faith have been able to dream and live with new hope. It's what makes the good times great and the bad times bearable. God made Christmas for us, but there is a sense in which all of us have to make our Christmas. All the salvation of God is finished and complete, but it is not ours until we claim it. No ear may hear his coming, but in this world of sin, where meek souls will receive him still, the dear Christ enters in. A savior for you is born this day. We are saved through the life, the death, and the resurrection of the one born so long ago in a little town called Bethlehem. You are forgiven. You are loved and you have hope. Peace on earth and goodwill to everyone. Merry Christmas. Amen. Bring us hope, bring us love.
you and also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God, through our Savior, Jesus Christ. In the wonder and mystery of the word made flesh, you have opened the eyes of faith to a new and radiant vision of your glory. That beholding the God made visible, we may be drawn to love the God whom we cannot see. Holy One, the beginning and the end, the giver of life, blessed are you for the birth of creation. Blessed are you in the darkness and in the light. Blessed are you for your promise to your people. Blessed are you in the prophet's hopes and dreams. Blessed are you for Mary's openness to your will. Blessed are you for your son Jesus, the word made flesh. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread and gave thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Love has come. God's love for all people. Come and eat, for Christ invites you. given and shed for you. Amen. As you celebrate Christmas, may God's angels watch over you. May the shepherds lead us to the stable to glorify and praise God. As the three kings follow the star, may we follow the star to the manger where the Christ child is born in us again. Blessed Christmas to you all. God rejoicing. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, for unto you is born a Savior who is Christ the Lord. Christ is born. Go tell it on the mountain and everywhere. Thanks be to God. Oh, mm -hmm. 
Thank you. 